Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and we have got some drama to cover going on in the Diablo Immortal community. Uh, you can see this topic on Reddit, Blizzard absolutely screwing Whale who spent $100,000. This is going to be uh, talking about JT and a problem that he is having, uh, but I'll, I'll read the topic and, and I'll let you know what is going on so that you can have uh, your own opinion and maybe share it down in the comments and, and we can follow what ends up happening on this because it's going to be really interesting to see how Blizzard handles something like this. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, um, I have personally met with JT. I have talked to him a little bit. Uh, you know, in my opinion, he, he's always seemed like a nice guy. I have no reason to to have anything but a positive feeling towards him. He's always been nice to me and, and all of that stuff. So let's read through this topic and then I will give you uh, my context on it and how I'm feeling about this. So we've got many of you know who JT is. He has spent $100,000 on the game and was the first player to ever reach maximum resonance. Here's the problem. His MMR is so high. MMR is match make rating so uh you know you'll see this in games like overwatch or, or really any game with some sort of pvp or ladder your mmr is going to refer to uh like like the difficulty of players you're going to play against if you're a beginner it's going to try to have your mmr put you against beginner players if you are a hyper expert pro it's going to try to put you against uh expert pros and that's what mmr is referring to uh in High battle or his MMR is so high in battlegrounds that it is currently impossible for him to find a single match. Uh, he has searched for over 48 hours straight and can't get into a single battlegrounds, which also means he can't do the right of exile as immortal either. Uh, the entire immortal group on his server, which is about 300 people, if you're immortals, it's like three clans of 100, are screwed out of the right because he can't progress it as the leader. Uh, before someone asks, the game won't let him transfer leadership to another player. Uh, he shows the problem in his video. Yeah, so I. I have a link down below. JT has a video going over this. If you want to see his context and his explanation, I will put the uh, the source material down there so you can check out uh, JT talking about this himself. The topic goes on. The guy spent a hundred thousand dollars and knowing he could make a decent chunk of it back over time uh, by streaming on Twitch and making YouTube content. And the very thing that he wants to do is stream PvP. He cannot do. Um, okay, I mean, making $100,000 streaming on, uh, on Twitch and YouTube, I mean, that's going to be years, uh, you know, given the, the, the viewer base that Immortal has. It's not like Fortnite or something, uh, you know, in terms of, like, Twitch viewership. But, uh, you know, anyway, I get the point. Uh, JT, from his point of view, is really treating the game like an investment, um, you know, something he wants to do long-term, streaming daily, doing daily content and that type of stuff, which is how he, uh, you know, kind of justified the investment of going all in on Immortal because he was trying trying to turn it into uh, what he's doing as a full-time job, and he wanted to be focused on having max characters crushing it in PvP. It goes on to say, the counterpoint of this discussion would be that in no world should he be matched with people in Battlegrounds who don't spend $100,000, okay? Uh, he reached out to support, who told him to create a forum post on Blizzard's forums. He did that, uh, as hundreds of comments, and then Blizzard just ignored it. Uh, he said he then reached out uh, to them on Twitter, and they just shrugged him along, saying they don't know what to do yet. Uh, they'll fix it in a couple weeks, uh, which is two contradicting things. Obviously, if he's going to try to refund, he needs to initiate the process ASAP. It's honestly insane how bad Blizzard is. And then the too long I didn't read is guy spends $100,000 on Diablo Immortal. Blizzard shafts him and he can't play PvP, which is the very reason that he spent $100,000 in the first place. And uh, this is a good uh, point that someone in my someone in my war band brought up, a good friend of mine, uh, Rolls. Uh, you know, it's very interesting in gaming uh, because it's, it's so much different uh, compared to any other industry. Like in any other industry, if you spend a hundred thousand dollars, you have like someone dedicated to your happiness. Um, you go into a casino, you drop a hundred thousand dollars. They've got someone standing next to you at your every beck and call. Whenever you want something to drink, something to eat, they give you a free uh, hotel suite to stay in, and they wait on you hand and foot uh, just to make sure you're enjoying your experience and you keep spending money. In gaming, that just doesn't happen. You can no matter what you spend, you can spend a million dollars, and they'll be like we don't care, screw you, submit a support ticket. It's really interesting that gaming is like that um, because there's no other industry, like any other business, if I walk in and drop $100,000, they are gonna be on their knees catering to me and making sure they're keeping me happy so they can keep uh, enjoying my business.
which some of you is going to think is hilarious and you're you're going to have the perspective of uh, lol screw this whale uh you know who cares uh, these morons that spend money just to have an advantage uh, in a mobile game some of you are going to have that perspective uh but i i would say my only pushback on that would be that a, that a free to play game needs people like this uh, uh, like if you want a high budget game that functions well and gets consistent content a free to play game needs whales that are funding that that are funding the content to be developed for every Everyone else to enjoy for free. So, you know, I understand that that sentiment's going to be very common, you know, to, to laugh at someone like this, but, uh, you know, people like this are actually needed for the game to be healthy long term. And honestly, it's just extreme. <laughs> It's just extreme short sight from Blizzard that this would even happen. Like, there should be a system in place where, you know, if you search for 30 minutes or something in Battlegrounds, it just automatically puts you in the highest possible match that you can get. Even if you're still way ahead of them because you're number one in the world or whatever, like, after 30 minutes, the, the, the queue time caps out and it just puts you in the highest possible match you can get. Super simple, and anyone who's ever played a competitive game would have known to have that, to, would have known to take five minutes and have that caveat in the matchmaking system. Uh, like, I recently played Age of Empires 4, and, you know, there'd be pro gamers that are rank one in the world, and, uh, and it takes them forever to get a match. It, you know, they're in queue for 15, 30 minutes, but the, but the range of acceptable MMR for them to play against keeps increasing until a point where they finally get a match, and they just happen to face the highest person queue even if they're technically way below them and that's super simple uh basically every competitive game with a ladder can get this right so i'm sure blizzard will implement something like that eventually and i don't know why they can't just come out and, and say that it's probably tough for uh them to give a, a definitive uh statement or or a definitive time frame on when exactly that will occur so they're probably just trying to play it close to the vest and be like hey you know we'll try to work on this and we'll keep you up to date but what it means is jt is considering just refunding the, the whole thing and saying screw this character i'm just going to refund the hundred thousand dollars and i'm going to start from scratch on a new character and then i'll manage things differently and i'll make sure that i don't go so crazy in battlegrounds that i can never ever get a match again which i mean me personally i wouldn't do if i was him um you know, I mean, it, it does suck because your whole clan, I mean, you, you risk people like getting frustrated and leaving and having drama, you know, amongst all these 300 people that are in your clan and stuff like that. Um, but, I, you know, I personally, I wouldn't go through the trouble of like, uh, you know, trying to refund $100,000 and hiring a lawyer and then starting a character from scratch and waiting for all that money to come back to you and hit your account and then having to spend all of that money again just to get back to where you were. So personally, if I were advising him, I would say brace your Immortals clan and, and your and your team for, you know, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do. We're just going to have to go back to being shadows because we're probably going to lose the right because we can't sign up for it. But, you know, stick with me and I will figure out a way to, to carry us as a team here in the future as soon as Blizzard gets this fixed. And then we'll go ahead and crush the Immortals and we'll dominate longer than anybody else. That's the route I would go for if I was him because going down the other path of refunding and trying to, trying to uh, make all that shifting of money work and get back to where you were is probably going to end up being a better uh, a bigger headache than uh than just than just gritting your teeth and dealing with it unfortunately but i'm sure blizzard will fix this eventually the game has made a hundred million dollars in the first two months it's not like they don't have the resources uh to adjust an mmr in pvp i mean when, when i was playing age of empires 4 they would make adjustments to the mmr system routinely like every few weeks so it's not difficult uh you know age of empires 4 is probably generating less than one percent of the revenue that diablo immortal is so I would guess they fixed this decently soon, but for sure it's going to be insanely frustrating for him. But anyway, that's going to do it for uh, for for giving you some perspective on this on this whole situation revolving uh, you know around JT. Let me know down below if you agree or disagree with me and, and what you think about the situation. It's always uh, interesting to hear the community's perspective on things like this as well. So uh, remember to subscribe on your way out. I'll be covering Diablo Immortal and everything around the game for you on a daily basis. How to play efficiently, news, drama, and everything going on. So have a great rest of your Sunday. Enjoy your weekend, and I will see you soon in the next video. Peace.